Hi there. I've been getting a lot of questions about working in the Google Chrome browser since we began all of our work from home lately. So I just wanted to continue with some of these tips. This one isn't really about a way to make your work that much easier or more organized. And yet in almost every training that I do, this question comes up. And that is, how do I make my tabs and my toolbar green in Google Drive. And yes, there is some advantage to that. Um, green is for my CREC account. If I logged on to my personal Google account, it would be blue because blue is my favorite color. Uh, the account that I use for online training is dark blue because that's still a personal account, but I know the dark blue is the training account. And I have other Google accounts, and they each have different colors. And when I have several of them open on my computer at once, I can quickly navigate from account to account because just the color alone prompts me to which place I need to be to do the work that I'm going to do. So how, does, how do I make this happen? First, when you're logged into any account, you just click the plus sign and open a blank tab. Now, when that blank tab is open, you are going to see right down here in the corner a little pencil. And that's the icon that you're going to click on. When you click on that, it's going to let you do three things. So before we go there, let's pay attention to what we're going to look at. We're going to look at the color of the tabs and the toolbars up here. We're going to look at this pretty spaced background that I've got. And we're going to look at these buttons that take me to my Google Drive and to Crack. So it all happens when I click the pencil. First, the background. This is where I got my nice space background. These are categories, seascapes, geometric scapes, textures, and so forth. I went into Earth, and you can see this is the one that I have selected. Uh, Earth is not really all about Earth. It's just about <laughs> planetary stuff, although most of these are aerial views of interesting Earth formations. And you can even have it refresh daily if you like Earth more than anything else, or if you want some interesting artwork, you could have it refresh daily and bring up some of these artwork pieces. So you can pick and choose what you want your background to look like. Shortcuts. Those are the things that let me go to Crack and to my drive. You can set it up so that you can create the shortcuts that you want. You can say, don't even show me those. I don't want those on my page or you can have Google automatically update the shortcuts based on the sites that you visit most often. Lastly, that green tab bar. I can customize the color of my account here. So I've chosen light green and dark green because green is River Street school colors, but I could choose blue, I could choose purple, I can choose whatever color I need to prompt me that this is the site that I want to be on at the moment. Once I make those choices, I have customized how my Google Chrome looks, and that will not only give me a more pleasant thing to look at, but it will give me some shortcuts to help facilitate my work and some visual prompts to help me know that I'm in the right place at all times. So there are some tips on customizing Google Chrome.